Just go ahead, Paul. Give oh, it to him. Oh, gosh. If this is your major move in the summer, signing Tim Hardaway Jr. to $71 million, this is definitely going to be your grade. And you're still holding on to Carmelo Anthony, whose trade value is probably going down by the day because you're trying to just get rid of him. I mean, you fired Phil Jackson. I don't, Jesus, I can get a Drew League team that's done better in the summer than the New York Knicks. <laughs> <laughs> That's Zach, made better moves. Zach who doesn't even like saying the Knicks name anymore. <laughs> Look, I, when I was a teacher, I just didn't have the heart to give anyone an F. It just hurt me too much. The children, they, you need to build up their self-esteem. So I'll give them a D. Um, they fired Phil Jackson after letting him make the number eight pick in the draft, Great. which seems like a bad idea. Yeah. Uh, the Ron Baker contract is completely inexplicable and makes no sense until you get to the Tim wow. Hardaway contract the Tim Hardaway contract has them like they have 80 something million dollars committed Ugh. in 2020 <laughs> right now you know that's like not that seems like a fake year it's so, so far away so what assignments do you have for them given that this is their situation Zach Lowe well they already gave up another draft pick for a guy to be the number two guy in their front office if you're gonna give up a draft pick at least make it for the number one guy in your front office. I don't have any assignments their for assignment get, is to find a way to get Jim Dolan to sell the team. Wow. Wow. Good that's gracious. that's all there is. I mean, that's I, all there is. <laughs> that that is actually probably what would be best <laughs> for everybody.